Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to process the timestamps in Google Sheet. In the end, I will also give you a special tip on presentation of your stamps. Do subscribe to this channel to get the next video tip on timestamp. Now let's go to my Google Drive. First, we need to rename the file's postfix. Select the file, right-click for Commands, and then choose Rename from the menu. Remove the last two letters and enter SV instead of VS. .csv is the correct postfix. And now Google will let you open the file in Sheets. Google is not always that smart, is it? Anyway, there might be an update on the app for this purpose. If everything opens up in one column, like here, it's just to select the column and do split into columns. In the control box in the bottom, select both semicolon and space, or otherwise do the splitting twice, just to get everything in three different columns. Now it's time to check that all your stamps are in the correct order and are correct at all. Here I have one uh, that I made for demonstration that I'll choose to just remove. Just select it and take it away. Go through all your stamps at this point and select which one to keep. Now we need to check how two functions work. It's date value and time value. In one new cell uh, type equals date value and give it the date cell as a parameter. If we get an error we need to change the format. In another cell type equals time value and give it the time cell as parameter. To fix the date value we need to change the dot in the date string and change it into dash. Select the column of dates, then select Edit, choose Find and Replace, Find, Enter Dot, and Replace, Enter Dash. Finish off with Replace All. Next step is to calculate a timestamp value, and then the length from one step stamp to the next. At the top of a column, type in the formula equals date value plus time value. Select that cell and type control C. Then select the cells below and type control V. Here we have the timestamp values. In the next column, select the first cell and type end of stamp minus start of stamp. Here we need to format this value to interpret it. Select format and then select a time format as time. Here, nine hours, 32 minutes sounds accurate. Now select that cell, Ctrl C, and select cells below, skipping the last one, and pasting with Ctrl B. Here we have the times of all the timestamps. Now, we don't need the values in the columns C and D any longer. Select those two columns and choose Hide in the column menu. As I am only interested in the work time, 
I'll hide the play values as well. And there we have the basic for a time report. Comment below on how you use it or how you want to use it. Let's at least try out two examples together. First example, this table is nice as it is. So just let's export it as a PDF. From the file menu, choose export as PDF. I like this table better in portrait mode, so I select that. Finish off with the export button. Then save the file locally. Nice, isn't it? Second example. Let us make a graph of the whole working time. Start off by selecting the dates and then the working time. Then select Make Graph. We get a first graph with its setting to the right. I'd like a more colorful graph, so I select another type. Let's customize the chart title. Let's put in uh, Work Hours June 19. Then for the horizontal bar, choose Treat Label as Text, that shows them better. And then I would like to have them in 90 degrees. That looks much better. I would like it a bit larger and then for the vertical axis let's get a more granular measure. And about there we have it. My working time in June. What a beauty. If you would like a link to the timestamp how-to video, you will find it up here. If you found a link to the video describing how to edit the action list, you will find that one here. And if you would like a link to how to get the, the application from the Samsung App Store, you will find it down in the description down there. I will see you soon in the next video.